going to quadcopter 101 here with a review of a new quadcopter. Well, I guess this one's been out for a while, but I just got my hands on one. This is the uh, Fine, uh, or actually, I don't know who makes this. Is, is it Fineco? <laughs> if it, it's it's the FX 6C is the name of the model name of this quadcopter. Um, I had been waiting for this since October, and I guess it just finally came into stock. It is a, if you look at it, it is somewhat similar to the X5C, although a little bit smaller. But it includes a camera with a, a 2 megapixel camera with a swivel lens. It also comes with a memory card. Uh, we're starting to see a lot of people, or a lot of companies, forgetting to include a memory card and a card reader. This one comes with that memory card and card reader. So in effect, this is a primarily intended as a camera bird. Uh, but it's also primarily intended as a long-range camera bird. Now it has it uses six batteries in this transmitter that says it should give it a home, close to 100 meters of range, and that's good for a quadcopter this size. You're going to have a hard time seeing this actually at 100 meters. But uh, another thing people have been asking is they want to see these quadcopters perform on windy days because it's winter time in most of the uh, the world or the northern hemisphere. Let's put it that way. <laughs> And uh, calm, windless days are hard to come by. Well, we got somewhat of a breezy day today. I'd say it's uh, about somewhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour. And we're going to see how this performs on a breezy day. Um, going over the abilities of this quadcopter, particularly through its transmitter here, it does have headless mode, which you activate by pressing the uh, throttle, left throttle stick in. It does have uh, flipping ability, which you activate by pressing the right uh, pitch roll stick and then telling it which way to turn its direction. You can change the beginner, intermediate, and expert rate by pressing this, what would be the throttle trim button. You just press into it. And you activate the trim itself for pitch and roll by pressing this button and then bumping the pitch roll stick in the direction you want uh, to trim the quadcopter, repeatedly bumping it until you get it centered. And then you press the trim button again to turn off the uh, trim um, control. Um, it does have one key return which you activate by pressing this button. You can turn off the lights to, pr to prolong your battery by pressing that button. Uh, you can take a photo with the camera by pressing this button, and you turn on the video and turn it off the video. Remember, always remember to turn off the video at the end of the flight or you lose that video by pressing that button there. So that, in effect, is what we got on this quadcopter. Um, let's go for a flight of this thing and try it out. Turning on the quadcopter and pointing the quadcopter in that direction for headless mode. And turning on the transmitter, transmitter's on, binding the transmitter with an up and down, we got bind, and turning the video camera on, and you can tell you the video camera's on because this center light starts blinking when you do turn the camera on, and we'll go up for a flight. And immediately I want to go to higher rate. There's two, one, two. So you got beginner and uh, expert. Okay, going upwind. And I want to see how much range we can get with this. Apparently, we are about 70 meters right now. Okay, I'm going to hover it there and rotate. Let the wind blow it back. Show you what the camera can do. Going back up range again, up into the wind. So yeah, this has great range on this thing. First, I'm demonstrating the camera, and then we'll demonstrate headless mode and one key return. Going back up wind one more time here, sending it way up wind and high too at the same time. And pull it there. We're about 100 meters out, folks. So yeah, oh man, that wind's real strong up there. I better come down. Okay, reducing throttle, full forward pitch. Hello there. Good flyer. It's actually a nice little flyer. Send it over the bushes there. Upwind one more time. Send it away out this time. I'll put it into hover. Right about there and let the wind, I'm going to turn it. I think I pointed toward myself. Letting the wind blow it back. Hi. That's a nice flyer. Nice little quadcopter. 
And what, the thing about this quad copter is, I believe it's relatively inexpensive. It's, it's, it's ten dollars cheaper, I believe, than the uh, like C Max 8C. So if you're looking for a, this and it actually has greater range than the X8C or the X5C than the C Max 5C. So yeah, this would be a good quad copter. Let's. I haven't seen what the quality of the video is yet, but we'll see here. Yeah, I'm going to turn off the camera right now so it saves some power here. Video coming hot. And we're going to go up wind and try the headless mode here. Pressing headless mode now. And I'm pirouetting in the wind, and yes, the headless mode works. So let's bring that in to show you that, that the headless mode works. Doing pirouettes. in the wind. So, you know, having this boat is, is a good thing to have, especially on a windy day. It makes it e easy to fly in the wind. You don't have to worry about which direction that quadcopter is pointed. Just put it in high rate and just use your pitch roll stick to fight the wind, like I'm doing right now. I better bring down the throttle some, though. <laughs> Let's go out there a bit and then press that one key return button. Oh, they got some wind here. It's fighting that wind. So this is a windy day flyer, especially you put it in headless mode. Press in one key return. Come back. And here it comes back to word me, see? One key return works. That was a combination of both one key. Ooh, that wind's picking up. One key return in headless mode. I'm going to come back out of headless mode here. I'm going to go upwind a bit. I want to try something else. Headless mode coming off. I haven't tried the flips yet. Let's bring it down close to us. And press that flip button. Oh yeah, I can flip. Do that again. So all in all, yeah, this is a nice little quadcopter for the price. I believe it's $39. Not bad little flyer. Great range, better range than the X5C. It carries a camera well. You know, you'd think it wouldn't have problems with the camera, but it's not. What have I done yet? Uh, well, the lights I'm going to leave on. And the trim button I haven't done yet, but I don't care. I can't do anything much with the trim today anyways. You can't tell because of the wind. Wouldn't be able to tell what the trim button is doing anyway, so we're gonna leave it at that. But yeah, this is a nice little quadcopter. Turning on the video one more time, which what is that? That's that. The video is on again. Wow, that wind's really picking up now, but it's fighting it. It's doing a good job. Let's set it up high with that camera into the wind. Again, to do this, you got to be in high rate. That's a lot of flight time on this. This uses a CMAX 5C battery, by the way. 500 milliamp. Wow, look at that thing go with that wind. <laughs> I better come down. But it's got the legs, you know, in terms of range. It doesn't want to come down because of that wind. I'm really just cutting off the throttle almost entirely. It's just hovering in midair. But it's coming down, it's coming down, it's coming down. Good quadcopter. I like this one. FX 6C. How did I miss this? I've been waiting for this since October. Um, mainly, I guess it was out of stock, or it was, it was, it just came into stock, is what I'm saying. Um, it was promised to. Uh, I forgot the company that I got this from, but I'll be sure to include the link. I'm gonna turn off that camera right now to save, save the video. But. Um, they had just gotten it in stock and asked if I was still interested and I said, yeah, sure, I'd like to try that. And I'm glad I did. It's a good little quad cover. Oh, by the way, the lights on this thing are very bright and uh, colorful, especially with that fake uh, GPS antenna on top. It's also got uh, lights inside the uh, case itself, inside the antenna, or the fake antenna. Um, I'm going to try to do some night flying tonight if the wind dies down. I'll be sure to include a night flight for this quad cut because it's, it's deserving of that. It's such a good little quad. I like it. Good night, good wind flyer. Windy day. Crabbing here in the wind. <laughs> wind blows it back. 
Okay, that's my flight time. I've got sluggish there, and there we go. So, again, this is the FX6C camera quadcopter. Nice little quad. And it can fight the wind, too. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Make sure you don't put the prop guards on if, you're, if you want to fly against the wind. Never put prop guards on, because if you're outdoors, because uh, they're tree grabbers, in my opinion, and they are also uh, make it terrible, make most quadcopters terrible to flight or fly in the wind. Okay, quadcopter 101, signing out. Night flying with the FX6C. Really pretty lights, especially on this dome on the top of this thing. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the flight. Handles real nice and smooth. Great night flyer, this one. Not a bad deal for whatever, I think it's 38. I'm just showing this. Put it in headless mode. I remember how to come out of headless mode. Okay, I think that's enough to show what this can do. Again, this is the FX6C. Hope you enjoyed that flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.